Yo, what is good, everybody? Welcome back to another video. Hopefully, you guys are having an awesome day full of only positive vibes. As many may know, the update has been released in global, maybe in green by the time this video has been released. And with that, the diamond camel is available. So today, we're gonna give you guys some tips and tricks on how to unlock it and how to unlock it fast as well as efficiently based on what you are trying to do. Let's go ahead and hop into the game real quick. As you guys can see, I was not joking around. I did, in fact, unlock the Diamond Camo. I even got super close to feeding the BY-15, and I did that in matter of hours. I was doing this live on stream. I think it was a seven-hour stream. However, I think I spent, like, the first hour, hour and a half looking at the new update, and then it took, like, a 30-minute to an hour break eating so it took me about four and a half hours to unlock this maybe five hours as well as almost finishing the shotgun the by 15 which we'll make a video that, about that when it comes out but you guys can see look how beautiful it is and uh, before we continue let me show you guys a clip of how this looks all right so if you guys want to take a look at the first diamond skin i have gotten it is the kilo boat it's actually very very nice i forgot to look how the base skin looks but you guys will see as we reload that's actually really nice. We have double fast reload. First things first, the main thing you need to know to unlock the diamond, you need to have the gold camel. You do not need the di Damascus, which they actually changed. In game, it doesn't look that great, but when you look, they did change the Damascus skin. You don't need the platinum. You only need the gold skin. Once you've completed all the gold skins, you'll be able to start unlocking the diamond skin. And the diamond skin requires X amount of games, depending on which gun you have. And then you have to do 10 kills in those games. Uh, you can actually make this a lot faster, but we'll talk about that afterwards, depending on the gun that you're doing. So basically, if we go ahead and take a look at some of the guns available, assault rifles will require 150 snipers, LMG, SMGs, shotguns will all require 120. And then you have um, AR uh, secondaries. Actually, secondaries are a little different. FHJs and SMRs only requires UAVs, which is 100 of them. You don't have to kill them in game. So you can actually check. I'm going to show it to you guys so you guys can know that I'm not uh, really just trolling you guys but you only need 100 uav kills only 100 only but with rapid fire mode being available you guys should be able to unlock this fairly easily same thing for the smrs then afterwards the milli you just need to get x amount of kills so for example we actually haven't seen the axe yet so we actually might as well take a look at the camo since we're already here you need 500 kills which is pretty dang easy in my opinion it looks really nice too it's just all diamond and also we actually have the bat i don't think you can unlock it yet but you can put the camo on so you can see right now we don't actually have a base one yet oh we do have the base one perfect so you can actually start unlocking this if you would like um i don't know if i can do it yet it says that you need to be like level two i can't level up the gun unfortunately but you can kind of see how it looks the gold bat the the damascus the diamond the diamond is basically just all diamond it's kind of cool it's like a glitter bat yeah, it's not bad. So it's really different. And then the, the pistol is just getting 10 kills 80 times for all of them. So it's a little different. So I don't recommend going for those unless you really want them. So right now we're going to give you guys three tips and tricks on how you can unlock it. And these three tips and tricks will be based on what you are trying to do with the gun. The first tip is if you're trying to unlock one specific gun and one gun only, you should be playing shipment. Quick disclaimer, you should be playing Shipment for all your maps. Let's be honest, Shipment is the best when it comes to grinding camos. However, it's going to be pretty sweaty, which I'll give you an alternative at the end of the video. But if you're trying to grind the skin, Shipment is the number one. Now, speaking of Shipment, the best mode that you should be playing for one gun and one gun only is going to be the free for all game mode. Eight players in there in Shipment, you know you're going to get a lot of kills and really fast. Now, this next part is super important especially for all the grinding part honestly only for this one especially this one once you get 10 kills quit the game you're probably like hey man whoa whoa quit the game it's not gonna work I'm telling you it will work i've tested this multiple multiple times on stream multiple times on stream i literally joined the game got 10 kills left the game and then i joined another game finished the game it counted afterwards i joined the game left the game joined the game left the game and then played another game full counted this i promise you it will count i know it's not going to show right away but it will count and this will save you so much time not only that your teammates or the people playing against you will be super happy because you're not going to be competing for kills anymore as you leave the game and this will help everybody who's trying to compete or grind for the diamond camo trust me this is the best way if you're trying to get one camo only i did this in probably realistic speaking i think you can do this in three hours maybe less and 
Uh, I mean, probably a little bit more for other guns, but for this camo, I think you can do it in three hours, which is pretty good. I know it's a while, but it's a good way. Now, the next game mode, again on shipment, is for unlocking two to three camos, realistically two. It's going to be TDM or kill confirm, depending on how much more you want to put in. If you want to do um, like three, you can do kill confirm, but typically team deathmatch on shipment, you can get two pretty easily. Uh, and also you can leave the game once you get two, which is what I've done. I go ahead and get like, what? I think I got 10 kills with the killer bolt, then switch to the shotgun. And then once I got 20, I left the game. You can finish the game if you want. Honestly, it doesn't really matter, but I quit the game. And then you can get this super easily for two. Even if you get one sweaty teammate, it still should be okay. Typically speaking, I think I've gone maybe one game without getting two, but honestly, this is the best way to do it. Especially on shipment, you'll just spawn in and just keep killing people left and right. So if you're trying to grind two to three skins, this would be the best game mode. And finally, if you're trying to grind multiple guns, like five, six, I'm gonna say probably three to seven guns on average, five to six, I recommend Hardpoint. This is gonna be the best way. I actually managed to do a lobby where I did five and this was a bot lobby. Yes, that means it was a lot easier to get kills. However, the game did not last long. I believe it lasted only about three to four minutes and we got five guns in that span. You can grind the most and the reason this is the most efficient. So if you don't care about what gun you really wanna grind, so like as a content creator, once I, I pick up the, the few guns that I want to do, I would be like, all right, let's go ahead and shipment and then they play like five different guns that I want to grind. This would be the best way. And the reason why this is better than doing the quitting is because when you quit the game and you queue up, that adds on to the time of waiting. However, switching guns and doing multiple guns on shipment hardpoint, it just becomes a lot faster in the long run. You're not going to see the results in the beginning, but as you progress towards the end of the season, you're gonna see you can collect way more guns than a lot of the people just because you'll be, you'll be grinding multiple guns rather than just one gun. However, you will have a little inconsistency because some of the guns, obviously the ones you're not prioritizing, will be at like, what, like 60, 70, whereas you've already completed a few other ones. That's just how it works. Now. If you think this is a little too sweaty, I recommend just doing kill confirm on literally any other map. Any other map will be a lot less sweaty, rust, standoff, high rise, my personal favorite, but those maps will be a lot less sweatier and will last a lot longer. So you can actually get typically 60, 70, 80 kills really, really easily. But that is what I recommend. I use these methods. I tested it out. I took seven hours on stream to find the best method. And this is the one that I found. All right, that's it for today. Hopefully you guys enjoyed the video. If you did like, share, and subscribe, don't forget to let me know in the comments down below if this helped you guys out. And if you have your own method, let me know in the comments down below and we can share it with the community. I found this to work out really, really well. I managed to get one and a half camo. I honestly would, would have probably finished the BY-15 if I wasn't planning on making this video as well as preparing for a birthday stream tomorrow which if you haven't yet trouble the live slash the hitman as well as youtube.com slash the hitman live will be live tomorrow probably a little bit earlier than usual we'll see i haven't decided yet but hopefully you guys can let me know all right i'm out see you guys next time kill it <laughs>